Can you partner in the Philippines, Cook? Uh, you're probably not even aware. Uh, a lot of women in the Philippines can't cook. Uh, can't cook to save their lives, literally. <laughs> the, I don't know why. I don't know why a lot of the, the women just haven't learned. I mean, I've got a fabulous... Well, fabulous cook. I've got a fabulous wife that can cook. <laughs> um, but the, the whole point is, a lot of people... Um, I've learned how to cook from my wife because they can't cook. Um, I've had some bizarre meals over the years. But the, the point being is, have you asked? If not, how do you encourage your partner to learn? Cookery courses in the Philippines are available. There's catering courses which may be actually useful, may actually be useful when uh, you go overseas because your wife now capable of working. She's qualified as a chef. She's qualified as whatever. But the point being is she can also cook at home. Because <laughs> I'm just saying this because I know so many people don't even think about it and have never even asked the question. The The other side of this being is that culinary uh, transition is also a good conversation piece because what happens is they're used to white rice, chicken, pork, blah, blah, blah. Not a lot else. And you're used to a full array of food. So having that conversation piece and starting to develop your wife's taste buds, etc., um, benefits you both. Because I know so many people where their wives just don't change. Their husband doesn't complain at the fact that he's eating food that is culturally not his, but they're also living in the West. <laughs> they just put up with it. I, I don't understand it. I mean, like I said, I can't. I can't complain about my wife because my wife embraced food. Going into Paris, the first thing we were doing was getting croissants and uh, the um, local bread, you know, the the cakes and stuff, you know, all the interesting stuff and flavours. In Spain, it's the same. Um, one of our friends, uh, Gordon and May, Gordon and May live the other end of town, well, up on the hill, just a, almost out of the town. But... They were eating bread from the supermarket, but April introduced them to our local artisan baker, and now they're converted to that bread because it's proper bread. It's not mass-produced. It's not bleached. All the horrible stuff. It's real bread. I can, as you can probably hear my voice, I love food. Um, not just eating it, but I love it with a passion. Um, but anyway, be aware your partner may not cook but it's worth getting her involved in it, teaching her to cook, um, but also adapting taste buds. My mother-in-law, um, I know she she has food where my wife cooks, she'll grab some of the food off my plate sometimes before my wife gets it to the table because she's actually trying the food. Um, she's actually had her taste buds develop. There's certain stuff that my mother-in-law eats now that wasn't part of her diet before. And it's purely because she's tasted what I eat and realized that this is much better. This is, you know, so be aware of it. All right, thanks for watching.